Aquarius, what is going on, my dears? Why you got them so delirious out here, baby? What is going on with you? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vera, it is me, Scorpion Reds. I am back at it again, one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2020. Show me the money season, yes, God, okay, baby, yes. So, listen, shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, thank you so much. For stopping through, showing love, light, sending pure, loving energy this way. Thank you so much. Um, I want to give a shout out to everyone who has been supporting the page. We got a few new decks on the table, okay? I'm taking it back to the old school a little bit, you guys. Um, because I just want to have like... Back in the day, I used to have like seven and eight different decks on the table that... Um, I would read from, I'm not going to reach for all eight of these decks unless the spirit moves me to give y'all extra long reading to read from all of them. But I'm just going to pull from whichever decks I'm feeling like is resonating with y'all's energy. So we do have some new decks. We have the Circle of Life Tarot deck. And I just looked online and this deck is gone. You can't even find it no more. So I am so glad that I just got the last freaking few of these decks I got one of the last ones so thank you God and thank you so much for all of y'all for sending this support and y'all sending this to me through the Amazon wish list thank y'all so very very much because this one is one of the last freaking decks that was printed and they don't even know when it's coming back and stop mm -hmm. thank you thank you hold on, <laughs> hold on. how uh 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm just kidding. Um, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So listen. Y'all sent me that. And y'all also sent me the Star C Oracle deck, which this is a new deck that just came out. So thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Y'all is amazing! Y'all is amazing, baby! Yes, God! We will also be using the Archetypes um, Oracle deck. I'm <laughs> Because the only thing I keep seeing is brown. Thank you! That is so funny to me! Okay, let me get it together, Aquarius. Let me keep it. Let me get it together. Y'all know how I be silly and y'all reading. So listen. Um, if there's anyone that wants to send any love and support and light over here, y'all been blessing us tremendously. Y'all can always um, feel free to click the about tab if you want to book a reading with me. Only thing you gotta do is send a message to me on Instagram. My um, pricing list is on my about tab, and. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, you can always just send me a message on Instagram. All of the links are there. If you don't have Instagram, you can reach out to me on Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download, and the only thing we need to do is exchange emails to communicate with each other. So my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Um, you can also use that if these videos resonate with y'all. Some people do not feel comfortable leaving messages down in the comment section, so if you want to you know, talk to me directly and let me know how the energy is resonating with you. You can always feel free to do that. You know what I'm saying? We are a big family of friends here. So don't ever, ever, ever feel like you cannot reach out and talk to me, okay? I ain't one of these big, big YouTubers. Even if I was, I'm still going to be right here with my people showing love, okay? So, um, wanted to give that information out there. Let's just give a quick prayer let's just give God some thanks let's give the creator some acknowledgement for just keeping us safe keeping us healthy keeping us happy keeping us all in a harmonious place a uh, place right now where we just having fun and just sharing laughter and just being in the luxury of the life that we live in right now so father god we thank you so much we thank you for bringing us here for the sign of Aquarius we thank you for keeping us sharp-minded quick-witted you know high energy you know, go getter, very tenacious. I I know for a fact that not near one of the Aquarius is sitting at home being delirious with nothing to do. Y'all always are like go getters. Y'all are very smart and finding new leads to new little stuff. I know a couple of y'all are probably running an online business or something right now through your home, and it's like you're not having no shortcoming, no money, or nothing like that. Or you gonna find some. So that's like I love that about Aquarius. Y'all are very, 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 very like 
inspirational on the entrepreneur um, realm. So, like, I want y'all to continue to just be go-getters. You know what I'm saying? Continue to, like, bring the party to you, Aquarius. Y'all know how y'all do. So, Father God, we thank you so much for just keeping us, like I said, in this harmonious energy right now. Continue to cover us. Continue to, you know, uh, bless us with daily bread and, and, and nourishment and knowledge for our day-to-day -day ventures, Father God. Thank you for keeping us right there next to you where we need to be. Um, our path has been paved in, in gold. Okay, our path has been paved in gold. We're going to put it there like that. And we claim that in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, you already know Aquarius been in the 2020 show me the money energy. You, you going to have to show the Aquarius your worth before we even have a conversation with you. Look, Aquarius going to size you up from the door. If you don't even look like someone that should be worth talking to, they already. Now, listen, <laughs> Aquarius don't play. So, listen, Father God, please give us guidance. Thank you so much for today and every day. We pray. Amen. Yes, God. Let's get it to this i want to just go ahead and hop into the love with aquarius you know what they told me to get you one of these cards for some reason this is um another new deck that i just got it's the find your happiness oracle deck this was sent by miss renee so um and she's one of my mods one of the mod squad leaders so that's my boo so they told me to pull you one of these for some reason, and I shall, I shall listen and follow instructions, you know. You know, I don't be doing no defiant stuff. So let's go here, okay. Some a little special for the Aquarius, so that none of the other signs got this deck. Let's see. Give me some guidance for Aquarius. Thank you so much for April. Okay. All right. Give me guidance for Aquarius. Okay. Is this or something better? Is this or something? Listen, y'all. <laughs> yes. Aquarius. <laughs> What's at the bottom of this deck, y'all? Let's see. What? I surrender all expectations. We're going to go ahead and take that too. Listen, it's like I don't even expect nothing. I don't even expect nothing no more. I'm living for today. I'm praying for better for tomorrow. Look, I'm living for today. I'm praying better for tomorrow. It's a decision making time. Is this or something better? You understand? We ain't, listen, ain't, ain't no way to go down. So we don't go down. We, we, we rise, okay? We go up. We go up, baby. We go up. And it's something about whatever situation that you're in. Um, this is a lot of throat chakra. This is a lot of third eye chakra here. And this is a lot of heart chakra right here. So this is about like being able to truly see things for what it is and not expecting no expectations out of the situation or the person anymore because it's like, Every time I'm putting my trust and expecting somebody to show me different, I make a fool out of myself. So I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't go into doing anything with any expectations anymore. If I'm here, I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do out of the generosity and the kindness of my heart without expecting anything in return because every time you put yourself out there expecting someone to give you the same energy that you're giving, you always end up disappointing yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it's getting to the bottom line where ever I'm going to, you know, surrender myself to this being where it is and stop expecting things to get better or I'm going to go to something better. I have to stay where you are without expectations and just do what you're supposed to do without expecting anything in return and just being cool where it is or it's going to something better. Is this or something better? I surrender all expectations. Hmm. That says a lot. And that's really... Because right here, this is more, it's this or something better. That's all heart and, and throat chakra right there. That's all getting your heart and your throat chakra and speaking from a place of knowledge. You know where your heart lies. I mean, okay. 
the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So this means restructuring and new planning. It means that there's a delay in some type of new beginning. Um, they said survival. Y'all might be tolerant something right now for survival. That's what they're telling me. It says for survival, four swords. It's like something is a headache. You just need to, I feel like maybe you might just be secluded in a room by yourself because someone is giving you a fucking headache. <laughs> and it's like you just want to be left all the way to hell alone. Like, come on. Like, it's like, and this is like kind of being trapped indoors, you know, because y'all know we going through this self-quarantine. Uh, are, are you playing like you <laughs> see a players would do something like that? <laughs> hey, Aquarius, y'all stupid as shit. It's like <laughs> something just is not going the way that you plan. Y'all might have been in a situation where you tried to start brand new. With someone, you might have tried to start brand new and realize that this was not a good decision at all. And you just want to be by yourself again. It's, I, I need to surrender myself to this and just do and be without expectations. I already know that this motherfucker drives me crazy. So I, I'm just going to accept it and surrender to that and just continue to do good and just... Don't expect anything more than what you already know and what you see. Or, or as soon as this, this quarantine shit is over, I'm going to something better. I'm going to something is definitely giving you some type of headache. It gives you like some type of stress. And I feel like you've gone back to the drawing board a few times and have tried to replan this situation so it could grow efficiently. And it's just something, it just isn't working, you know? What is the Queen of Wands in the reverse? So out of this is. Either this is an Aquarius male that's dealing with a fire sign woman or this is you Aquarius, you know, and this situation has just like really got you out of source where it's like you're burnt out. It's like you're burnt out and I really do feel a level of bitterness and resentment with this four swords here because it's just like I've allowed whoever this is yet again or situation yet again this could even be your job this can most definitely be your job because that's the pinnacle right there so that could be your work you know what i'm saying so i don't know if you just got laid off again and this shit is like giving you a motherfucking headache and you're upset about this and you just need to take some time out and de-stress and kind of get yourself together um it can either be that or because everyone is having to work from home, it's like the stress or the amount of um, reliability on certain parts or key pieces in regards to making this thing come together. It's just not there. It's like a sense of someone not being reliable and it's putting a lot of stress or burden on you and it's making you very upset and it's someone being burnt out. Someone is being burnt out. It's either this or something better. And as soon as this whole thing breaks and everyone can get out of the house, because again, this is someone that is not able to take action with this Queen of Wands. This is someone that is being forced to kind of sit down and she can't get her feet in the mud, you know? Ooh, and I love this Queen of Wands. I love how she has, um, ooh, what is that skin condition? This skin condition, um, is in my family. What is that? I forget what it's called. Oh my God. But like a lot of people in my family have their skin condition. I think that shit is so beautiful, yo. Oh man. What is that called? That's just like. That's even with someone with that type of skin condition and stuff like that. And still, it's just making me think of that beautiful girl from Top Model. Didn't she win and she had that skin condition, yo? She was so... And she ended up being like a really big famous model or something like that. Or she, I mean, she went further than just Top Model. You know what I'm saying? It's like being able to see your inner beauty... And your inner strength throughout it all. You know what I'm saying? Like really being able to face this adversity and just being smart. 
You know what I'm saying? Surrendering all expectations is either this or something better. Like that is a very positive way to think about it. You know what I'm saying? If something ain't working out for you, it's either this or something better. A lot of people are not listening. Just come on now. You said I'm trying to get some balance. I need some justice. I need the truth. I need the facts. I need the car facts. I need to know where you're going. Where you been. How you plan to satisfy me? Come on. <laughs> ah, listen, you said I'm about to get some Libra scale energy. Where my cousin is at in the, in, the, in, the, in the air community? Where my Libra at? Okay, Libra, what it be, bro? They said, hold on, I have to go ahead and talk to my other air sign counterpart. Okay, we need to get some balance and some straightness going on. We need some balance and some straightness. And some, hold on, not straight there, some straightness, girl. What? 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 See, this, this is a thing right here where it's like, I don't want to hear about what nothing and nobody has to say. I don't want to hear about what it should have, could have. If it was this way, you know, I could have did better or, you know what I'm saying, you should always expect better than me. No, I go off of face value and what I can see as fact and what I can't believe. And whatever has been happening... Sorry, y'all. It's like whatever has been going on, it's a constant pattern of a sense of renewal that ends to an immediate death. That ends up giving whoever put all this energy in trying to recreate something here. It gives them a lot of stress and it gives them a lot of burden because I feel like this is the only person that's actually trying to put any effort into making this better. And it's like they're burning themselves out on both sides of the candlestick. Do you understand? It's like a lack of passion. And in regards to this queen not being active to her being in the reverse, her not being able to use her, pat, her, her, her power, her, her magic, her mysticism, you know what I'm saying? Her being made to sit down and rest. Um, to regain some balance and look at the truth um, she can like really she or he can really really see and again this is, the, this is the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles in the reverse why there isn't no growth why the passion isn't lit why there isn't no balance because it's something about you guys having to sit back and take a rest you know what I'm saying and recoup a little bit in order for you to clearly think in a healthy manner because it's something about you being burnt out and not having no rest and having to do something by yourself, having to plan something by yourself. You did all of the party planning, you did the hosting, like you did the cooking, you did everything, and it's like you are burnt the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it feels like some people that was supposed to maybe a king of pentacles or something was supposed to show up and just wasn't there. I don't know, but it's just like you ended up burnt out on all ends. And that's why things didn't grow. It says the womb, the destroyer, and then the mountain. So, mm, mm. so the womb. Ah, Dios mijo. What I'm getting right here. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say it like this, but I feel like there is someone that was being, um, like when it came to intimacy, I feel like somebody was just thrashing around and just like being rough with no passion, no intimacy, just no emotion, kind of like. I don't know. It was something about the sexual intimacy, I feel like, because this Ace of Wands in the reverse, it, it could definitely mean like, there was a lack of sex. And it's like a cleansing of the wound. I feel like your wound needs to heal. I don't know if I feel like someone was like having very rough sex with you or they just did it with no passion and it just made you... I don't know. I'm feeling like someone went like after they having sex... They kind of just lay in there like, did I enjoy that? I don't know. That That's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting. It's like, did I enjoy that? It's some, something about someone not enjoying the sex. 
it's like you just thrashing around. And, they, and the person is like, are you finished? You done? Ugh. It's just, I'm getting this feeling of like just going to the bathroom, washing off, sitting on the toilet, just like, okay, girl, listen, <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to keep doing this anymore. Like, this is just not, it's not making me feel good. This is not going anywhere. It's not growing. It's like. I feel like it's a lack of communication. It's like y'all could even be around each other and you like barely even have anything to say. It's like you've completely lost all passion, all sense of recognition. Um, it's like just you you just don't even whatever it was that you had expectations on, I feel like you've come to a certain level of like truth about this situation. And you know what I'm saying? Like karmically i understood whatever lesson um i was supposed to learn in this it's like i put a lot of energy and it's something about it's like i sacrificed my womb my womb i don't know if you've had abortions by this person before um and i'm sorry if that's like a trigger topic or anything like that but i feel like it's something like this person destroyed what was intimately me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and there's a lot of conflicts. There's a, there's a lot of like blockages. There's a lot of delays. There's And it's like it's only one person at the top. It's like, you know, you're not even willing to climb this mountain with me. You know what I'm saying? So, oh my God, that is driving me crazy. Hold on, y'all. That is just absolutely driving me crazy. And it's dead. Oh my gracious. I'm so sorry, y'all. So, let me just take my damn phone and just run it. Because I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. Um, I want to read the room. The destroyer. I think we already. It's, it's like it's time for there to be some destruction. Because. There's a seed that's planted that I feel like it's just not growing. Um, it's not growing. It's not growing. And it's not growing right. I feel like there could be... I don't I don't know. I feel like there could have been someone that might have lost pregnancy because of like some type of rough sex or something like that. I don't... I don't know why I'm like really picking up on... Hold on. The nest, the belly, the origin. It says nourishment, harmony, warmth, love. And in dark, it means stricken. Ecological crisis, infertility, imbalance. Like I, I told you, I told you. It's something about, I don't know if this person, if you've had like, a few abortions with this person or uh, gosh I don't like I don't like talking about shit like that I really don't I really don't but it's like nothing isn't growing nothing is going to get better things is just going to be the way that it is and I just I gotta accept that it's something about this moment for all of us being able to sit down where it was like you were kind of being forced to recognize and see to be able to come to some level of balance what is this yeah the two of swords so with your third eye chakra right there and i told you this had to do with your third eye chakra and you see that that elephant is movement the the elephant means trusting yourself knowing that your protection is granted to you like you know the elephant is one of the biggest goddamn animals the, the, and honestly, the elephant right now, you should look at the elephant as your spirit animal right there. You're very intelligent. This, but elephants might move slow, but when they move, they move and they make movements. And they make people move around them. Do you understand? They're a force to be reckoned with. Ain't nobody about to get down and tussle with no elephants. Do you understand what I'm saying? This, this is a symbolism of blessings. 
because you're able to see now you need to like really make a decision to move forward this also represents like transformation you know what i'm saying transformation transformation it means like going into a new endeavor a new venture you know what i'm saying means being patient too even though it might take a long time for you to get there because elephants take slow steps but they take very practical wise steps do you understand what i'm saying their tusks are made of ivory you're special you're gifted you're very smart you understand you have the tenacity and the patience and the courage to make it over this mountain but it's something that you need to do alone it's not something that it's like you need to make a decision you need to make a decision because nothing isn't growing and this person ain't showing you anything than what the hell they are you know so i surrender all expectations and when you start moving forward don't expect nothing just know that it's ever this or something better. So when you get to start moving, just know you're moving to something better. And don't expect anything. Just allow all your blessings to come. Look at this. The Nine of Cups. Once you make your decision to get over this hurdle, to get over this blockage, you are going to be emotionally fulfilled. Many cups. And you see how you have all of these cups that you are able to offer some milk or some water or whatever it is to these birds. That is open communication to things that are going to be fulfilling to you. So once you make a decision to trust and know that you're protected and follow that third eye chakra, you're going to be able to afford many Many, many cups of success, many, many moments of emotional upliftment and just, you know, you being fulfilled, the fountain running over for you, for you. Then you got the will of fortune, my dear. The will of fortune is in your favor. The will of fortune is in your favor. You got to make that decision. This is that queen of Pentacles right there. It seems like because I'm getting like the the Alice in Wonderland, which I'm about to go to the Alice in Wonderland deck as well. And then you see that circle. So that's representing the world cycles. Do you understand? This is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a creator. She's an inventor. You know, she loves animals. She loves the environment. She knows how to plant seeds and make seeds grow. You understand? I don't feel like I want to read these in the reverse. Um, but I feel like for a while, I'm getting the Alice in Wonderland where on one side you eat over here, it'll make you taller. You go over here, it'll make you smaller. And then, you know, mushrooms, you can get high on mushrooms. <laughs> and you see the little mushroom spores all over the place and stuff like that. Mushroom spores can go attach itself to anything. Do you understand? So, um... It's something about, I feel like, experience a, 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 a level of highness on life. Once you really know how to grow and really how to create and thrive and learn a new technique of survival and knowing that you're walking forward. Listen, it's either this or something better. Knowing that and knowing once you get on your journey, you're walking into emotional success, good fortune, and being able to put your crown on and keep it there. You understand? And everywhere you go, these little spores of your happiness and your blessing, it's going to it's going to attach itself to everything and everyone that is in your environment that you love. Listen, what is this? The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords, this story right here is... Basically telling me about a wise young man. Right? He realized that he got to get the fuck. You see him getting the hell out of somewhere. He looks like he's having to make a very quick decision. Very fast. And he, you know, make haste. Make haste. So what's more valuable? The beautiful goose that lays the golden eggs. Or the sack of eggs that are created in gold. Because if you look, you see all the golden eggs laying there? 
he's smart enough to know a big ass bag of golden eggs yes it looks way more valuable than a, a little goose but this goose laid those eggs it's more smart for me to grab the goose y'all can have that because there's many more where it comes from as long as i take care of my animals and i take care of myself and you understand what i'm saying so it's something about you guys making a decision to cut out quick and leave what other people would have thought was something of value behind and making a smarter decision to get where this shit came from versus the outcome of what came from it. Do you understand? I want the goose. You can have the bag. Do you understand? So, it's something in y'all's life and y'all know exactly what it is. I want the goose. Y'all can have the bag. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes! Cause that's so fucking Aquarius. Like y'all love y'all. I love Aquarius. Why y'all be doing this to these niggas? Aquarius said, baby, listen. To a queen stands alone. A queen stands alone when motherfuckers is showing me what it is. What it is, what it is. Okay? When someone show me what it is, what it is, that's cool. I don't mind taking a journey but some journeys are better left alone I can see where I'm going and I ain't got no other goddamn distractions getting in my damn way if shit ain't gonna grow here I'm, I, I'm, I, shit. Aquarius it's like I won't be dealing with no headache for no too long you understand I want the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth the truth said this shit ain't gonna grow here I see that I'm good I'll destroy it I'll destroy it I'm not planting no seeds here. I'll get over it though. I'll get over it though. Mm, 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 mm. Well, well, well. Let me see what's going on here. <sighs> I'm kind of scared to get into this deck. What's going on with the womb? Okay. It says the priest. Frivolousness. I was in the reverse though. It says the gift. In the reverse. It says misfortune. In the reverse. You got fortune in the upright. You got sorrow in the reverse. Look, you said, I, I ain't making no mistakes. Melancholy in the reverse. And waiting in the reverse. <laughs> Come on, baby. Listen, I'm letting y'all know right now. I feel like this Aquarius was I've been looking for like a very, very structured relationship. Was looking for a very, very structured thing with that priest there it's like they really do have a sense of value and a certain level of honor and integrity and i feel like they were in a relationship or a situation with somebody that was very frivolous that was very out there and it could very much so have been a child that might have been aborted i'm not even going to lie i'm gonna keep it 100 to you you know what i'm saying because It, 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 it was about the mistakes that would have and, 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 and this person said I, I survived this they just told me I survived this it was about something that would hurt me right now but would have really really hurt me in the future if I didn't take care of it because it didn't matter how much I went back and replan and replan and replan this motherfucker wasn't trying to grow with me the shit wasn't doing nothing but giving me a headache. I wasn't about to... This person was thinking about the, the child that was growing in their womb. I can't nurture a child and successfully birth a child with all of this distress and stuff like that. Do you understand? I'm dealing with someone that isn't really trying to bear any gifts with me. You know what I'm saying? And 
this is a misfortune, a disaster that I don't, I don't even want to put myself through. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not truly about to bear no gifts from this situation. This person is out being frivolous and won't stop. This person is not willing to transform for me in the situation that we created each other. Uh, we, you know, we created for each other. This is ever someone that clearly made it, made it clear to them that either they didn't want a child or they didn't want something and that they were trying to destroy something. And this person said, mm, okay, you know what I'm saying? You're not trying to offer me the commitment and you're not trying to play fair. So I'm good with it. Like I said, justice, you know what I'm saying? Justice can be served, you know? But it's like I did what I was supposed to do. I did what I was supposed to do because at the, at the end of the day, it's something about it's this or something better. I'm fortunate regardless. And I don't want people around me, my success and my, and, and, and my growth. I learned a lot from this situation and I will not bring no child up in no damn chaos. I will not be responsible for that. You understand? I'm very fortunate. I would not be sitting in no house in no sorrow, fucking around, feeling melancholy by myself, waiting for no nigga or no bitch. I would not waste my time. I would not waste my life like that. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. It ain't gonna be no shame on me, goddamn. It's something about... This situation was like the last time and it was like the last straw and there was some level of separation where this person had to seclude themselves in a room and realize how they're feeling right now. And once they get out of this seclude, it's either it's this or something better. I'm choosing something better. I'm choosing something way better. You can have it back. Give me the goose, bitch. I'm about to get loose, bitch. You don't even want to fuck with me right now. Like, for real, for real. Like, <laughs> listen. Aquarius says you don't even want to fuck with me right now. Okay? Keep the change, bitch. Keep the change. Keep it, bitch. Queen of Pentacles. We're not even about to play with y'all out here. You understand? Let, ooh, listen. The sun. The truth, again, has been revealed. Something that's been illuminated. You found a sense of happiness, a sense of joy, a sense of warmth. You know? Revision. New sense of life. Rebirth. Cleansing of the wound. I don't know if someone took like a sage stick and like <laughs> squatted over top of a sage stick. Did you say your poo poo? Bitch, did you do <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all better listen. Do y'all a little spiritual bag with some. <laughs> you, you know, they got little sage body washes and stuff. And put some little sage oil and stuff in your little spiritual bath, girl. She said, no, bitch. I squatted over the stage, bitch. I. <laughs> Look, I did a, I did a sage potpourri poom poom steam. Yes, girl. <laughs> yes. Yes. The garden. She said, baby, I'm ready to come on out. The sun is shining. I'm really ready to get out of this house and start communicating and living my life again. Like, for real. Like, I didn't destroy that situation. I found a way. Or I'm finding a way. It's no point to keep replanning and trying to rebuild. I'm going to the better. I'm going to the better. Look, the clouds is over. My sunshine has come. And I'm all cried out Cause there's no more rain in this cloud My sunshine has come Look. And I'm all cried out There's no more rain in this cloud Yes, listen You see your tree, you were secluded You were growing, you were feeling healthy Listen, the sun is shining. You got a lot of water. Remember I told y'all y'all cup is running over. Okay? This is like some hydroponic tree. Bitch, you got that hydro? Hold on. <laughs> Listen, y'all got that hydro.
got your pond and you see how that tree just growing around all that water yes bitch you got that good good got that 20 twin twin nigga let me get a bag let me get a bag of quarters of quarters keep a niggas delirious got that gas nigga okay let me get some of them hydroponics you out there by yourself growing something real good something real healthy bitch yes look look Corey said bitch did not say you about this money bitch Listen, this ain't funny. I'm about this money. I cut, I cut, I cut clean out of anything that ain't on my team. Listen, I cut clean anything that ain't on my team. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Boo, I will po po ream steam clean the fuck out my poom poom and, 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 and come on back and come on back and come on back. Come on now, come on now. Listen, there's no need for this gentleman. Or any gentleman at this moment. Do you understand? It's about a sense of self. And something about growing alone. And realizing that it's not raining. Listen, it, it, it doesn't rain over this tree so much. Listen, there's a whole river of water around it. But the water floweth over. It flows over. There's some type of seclusion from some male figure here there's some type of seclusion but the sun is shining and it looks like this person has destroyed something to be able to come out and to communicate and go for the better they said they wanted to go for the better they wanted to go for the better so let me get your Alice of Wonderland let's find out let's find out where this man going with this goose Listen, you said, hold on, I'm about to cut loose with the goose, bitch. I'm about to cut loose with the goose, bitch. I'm about to cut loose on the goose, bitch. Okay? Listen, so I'm about to cut loose on the goose. What? Ooh. It says, the king of diamonds, the horror of that moment I shall never forget. Listen, I'm about to cut loose on a goose, bitch. I'm about to cut loose on a goose. The King of Diamonds is like a financial institution, like a loan being given or someone that's even like, um, they're saying like a loan advisor, a loan advisor is something that I feel like bad planning or something that you did before with your money and I feel like you weren't able to plan it successfully on your own. So it's like you need a loan advisor, a plan by a planner advisor. You know what I'm saying? This is like some type of male energy and you might be telling them about what I had to go through before. Listen, I had to cut out, leave my bag back there and just take the goose and just keep it going. Like I'm producing a lot of new coins and a lot of new golden eggs now. This is what I got at the table. I'm trying to see if you'll give me an advance on something, you know. But I need a little bit of help and advice because I don't want whatever to happen over here to happen again. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's this. What is... <laughs> Look, I love this card because you see how the little thing is sticking its tongue back at motherfuckers like, nah, take care now. Bye-bye then. Ace Ventura voice, bitch. Okay? Loo-hoo. Ooh-hoo. zer -her. Okay? Take care now. Bye-bye then. The end. Okay? Listen, I'm cutting loose with the goose, bitch. I'm cutting loose with the goose. I'm making deals on the hoe. I'm all about the dough, okay? I'm making... Yes, come on, Aquarius. Listen, I don't know what the hell you spitting back, whatever the hell you saying back to them. I ain't even gonna read that shit because I don't know what the fuck you saying. But the seven of clubs represents someone that knows that they're in a, a quite of a pickle, you know? And realizing that they really got to put a lot of elbow grease into something in order to experience some change. So, it might just be you cutting loose on the goose. It might just mean you cutting loose on the goose. Like, for real. Like, you cutting out, leaving that bag back there, making the best decision. Because, you know, the page of sports is someone that's doing some type of resource. I mean, resource. Yeah. They're doing resourcing. You know what I'm saying? They're investigating, making sure that they have appropriate resources, that they're knowledgeable, that they're making wise decisions and hopefully not jumping out, doing something prematurely, you know, that might fuck them up in the long run. Whoever this was made 
a smart decision because they did their resource. Of course, a big ass bag of golden eggs looks tempting, but it's wiser to take the loose, the cut loose with the goose. Cut loose on the goose, girl. T cut, cut loose. Okay? <laughs> okay? All right? I'm about to re-educate myself and make me a new plan, baby. I'm about to grow this shit. I'm about to get out of this stress, all this turmoil, all this drama. I'm about to plant my seeds by myself and grow by myself. Okay? By myself. Listen, and then you got the ten, and then you got the ten of fucking diamonds. I'm trying to tell you, it's something about you cut loose on the goose. You took that goose, you treat her, and it's, and remember I said the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles has a lot of animals. She's about nature and, and, and the cycles of life and things like that, right? So, it's, it's, it's kind of like... Even though I might, I don't, I don't want to sound like that, but it's like, even though I might have lost that child, I know that as long as I take care of myself and I make the right decisions, I can have many more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can have many, 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 many more. So, um, it's, you have your animals or whatever, or it could even be your body, your womb, to lay golden eggs. It's like you really educating yourself on how to take care of yourself. Um, now they're telling me this is someone that, um, has tried to continuously have a baby with someone. I just feel like you were not meant to have a baby with someone. That's why you experienced so many miscarriages. If you didn't terminate the pregnancy yourself, this is someone that keeps having miscarriages because you're not in a healthy situation. It's not appropriate for your body. And as soon as you decided to destroy this, because I feel like it was putting too much stress on your fucking wound, you had to overcome this on your own and it's like as soon as you cut loose on that shit your body recouped because listen the tree represents health i'm gonna tell you listen i'm about to read this shit to you where is that the tree represents life health the body being grounded the mind reflection spiritual beliefs earth legacy time sacrifices recovery relative growth environment nature spirit personal growth you see, this motherfucker is by their self. Not around, no problems, not around, no man. Listen, the horror of that moment, I shall never forget. You shall never forget it. You cut loose on that motherfucking ass. You did everything that you needed to do, and you put the work in by yourself. And remember the number seven. The number seven represents withdrawal. It represents knowledge. It represents anal being analytical. It represents understanding. It represents spiritual withdrawal for spiritual elevation. It's a very high number. It's a number that is like close to God. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you were able to stick your tongue back and be like, man, and a boo-boo, nigga, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they come out with that ten of fucking diamonds. Ten of diamonds. Reaching the ultimate success. The ultimate reward, the ultimate victory in this stage. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. But at the end of the day, Humpty Dumpty laughed at them all. Listen, Humpty Dumpty told this motherfucker, he said, My name means the shape I am. And a good, handsome shape it is too, bitch. Look at me. Now look at me. Humpty Dumpty might have sat on that wall. Humpty Dumpty might have had a great fall. But Humpty Dumpty found out how to put themselves together. Recover. Get real healthy. And be back in the best shape a motherfucker ever done seen them in. Yeah, me. Read it and weep. Okay? This mother... Humpty a cocky motherfucker. It says, my name means the shape I am. And a good, handsome shape it is, too. Now run and tell that. Okay, bitch, the end. <laughs> the end. The end. Again, broom. It's this or something better. The pussy stay way wetter. Anyway, I got to go, bitch. Oh, I got to go. I love you, Aquarius. Why you got these hoes so delirious, girl? You said, boo-boo, I'm about to listen. Go do me a little, uh...
sage potpourri poom poom steam girl if anybody got some good sage um potpourri poom poom steam what do they call them things where they be sitting on with the yoni steams or something if y'all got a good little spiritual sage poom poom steam little kit little job where you sit on the little thing and you steam it up and you just you know you just chill and you just watch a little netflix and you just you know with some little strawberries and little you know a little wine keep it real divine you know what i'm saying off your queen shit you know what i'm saying let a bitch know put it down in the comments let a bitch know i'm trying to get me a little sage, a little pooper and steam. Okay, bitch? We're reloading. Anyway, we're out of here, y'all. I love you.